what's up guys today is pretty killer so the whole meat prep and everything everything is starting to catch up pretty bad um, if you notice today I had to squat by myself and it's not because my teammates weren't there it's now since it's crunch time everyone is really trying to focus on their weaknesses so for me that squat every time I squat my form feels different my cues are off so it's really important for someone like me where my squats aren't dialed in I have to squat at least three times a week which is why today, although I'm not moving very much weight, just 225, I, I was still trying to remember to push my knees out, to have my hips go straight down, keep my lats tight, and really focus on my cues. And while I was working on my squats, Demas and Sarah were working on their deadlifts because that is the weakness that they have. Every single time they pull, they're not activating their lats or they're not making sure to keep a neutral head and neutral spine. So um, before we bench together, all of us were kind of just working on our weaknesses with really lightweight, under 50%, just so that we can make sure to dial in those cues so that when we do lift on competition day and competition lift day, all those cues are there and we can just focus on moving the weight. And then we moved on to our main set, which is the competition bench for eight sets of two. And um, I think just me doing cardio three, four times a week on the treadmill, my caloric deficit, all of that is just kind of catching up. And then also um, I worked pretty late last night. I ended up sleeping at two and I had to wake up at eight. So I only slept six hours when I usually need a good eight to nine. And today was like the first day that I had to down a monster. You guys know that usually I just like to drink black coffee, try to keep it super natty. But today I had to do one of the most unnatty things and drink a monster to kind of get my brain where it needs to be at. Because a lot of times after my first three sets, if I'm not completely focused, I just go on autopilot and then I'm just going through the motions and you're not gonna get the best out of your training, the most out of your training, if you're just going through the motion. So I had to down a monster. I wasn't natty today to hit the bench. And because I was so tired, I actually made a really bad judgment call. So usually my warm up scheme to my main set would be a plate, two plates, three plates, and then whatever else I add on, whether it's 335, 365, 325, whatever, I would add that on and that'd be my main set. But because I was so tired, I didn't want to have to do so much volume on the warm up. I did 135, 225, and instead of doing 315 and just dialing it in, I jumped straight to 325 for a triple, and that kind of slowed me down. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Because of that, I think I had to pay for it the rest of the workout where everything just wasn't dialed in and nothing was moving as smooth as it used to. Like usually when everything is locked in and really, really tight, when I'm blasting the weights, even if it's heavy, like 365, it'll still move like a Smith machine. It'll just move a little bit slower. But today I could feel kind of my elbows trying to find its home, but it wasn't really getting there. And then I would just try different things, a bigger arch or whatever. And, and you'll even see on one of my second or third to last sets, I just fucked around and I did close grip, which is another bad idea. I was like, maybe it's just because my triceps aren't firing. Let's do close grip. And the first one went up, but the third rep was hella slow and that kind of fucked me up on my next set where I burnt out my triceps and now I'm a tricep bencher. And then now I took out the strongest moving muscle for the lift. So my seventh set was like the absolute slowest. But the good thing is, just having my team back with me, we're able to bench together, kind of brings the morale up, and they're able to watch me and tell me my cues even though I'm not really feeling them. So it's still good to just train with the team and I still got through it, so I'm really happy. I still did 325, eight sets of three. Then we moved on to the overhead press and upright row superset, and that's once again just to try to get some hypertrophy and volume work in on the shoulders. While I'm trying to do this whole powerlifting meet thing, the one thing I'm really trying to avoid from last time is I turned strictly into a powerlifter by the last meet. All I was doing was just bench squatting and deadlifting. My shoulders became small, my chest got big, I started walking around like a T-Rex, and I didn't wanna have just the powerlifting physique. I wanna still have that athletic, aesthetic build. So I'm still maintaining my shoulders, still maintaining my back exercises just to make sure that, not just for looks, but also for overall shoulder health, that 
I stay healthy all around. So I also did bent over rows from four sets to 10, and I did three sets of uh, 10 with 225, and then I dropped the weight on the last one to just really be able to squeeze my lats and not really focus on the weight, and that felt really good. And then my last exercise, I did jam presses with curls, and both of my supersets with the overhead press and the upright rows and the jam press, I was able to go up a little bit in weight. And just going up a little bit in weight kind of challenges myself and I get a bigger pump, so I just feel like more full all around. And hopefully that transfers over to my next upper body day, which will be in a few days. That's it, peace. We also dropped three new really dope colorways. I'm wearing one of them right here, so make sure you go check that out at barbellbrigade.com. The link is in the description below, and there's probably an annotation floating around somewhere of it too.